Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we're going to be solving this problem from J Advanced 1993. So in the problem, we have two blocks A and B whose masses are M and they're connected by a massless spring of natural length L and spring constant K. The blocks are initially resting on a smooth horizontal floor with a spring at its natural length. A third identical block moves on the floor with a speed V along the line joining A and B and collides elastically with A. So we have to talk about the kinetic energy of the system at the instant when the compression of the spring is maximum. And we also have to talk about the maximum compression of the spring. So do give this problem a try and then come back for my solution. Let's begin with the solution. So first of all, I'm gonna discuss a, a very basic result and that is if you have two blocks uh, of the same mass and one of the blocks is moving at the velocity of v and if it is given that the collision is elastic then after the collision the velocities of the blocks get exchanged so this block was moving with the velocity of v and now it will come to rest and this will start moving at the velocity of v so basically this third block uh, in the diagram is pretty much useless because after its collision with a uh, this would come to rest and a would start moving with the velocity of v so this is basically how the problem looks like the easiest way to solve this problem is, is by taking the center of mass as our frame of reference. So for that, first we have to determine the velocity of the center of mass. Now the velocity of the center of mass is a very standard result. It's simply m1 v1 plus m2 v2 vector divided by m1 plus m2. So the first mass is moving the velocity of v, so m into v, and second mass is at rest, so it will be m into 0 divided by 2m, which would come out to be simply v by 2. So when the block of mass m moves at the velocity of v, the center of mass moves at the velocity of v by 2. The center of mass will be right in the middle and its velocity is going to be v by 2. So now if you want to go into the center of mass frame, we have to reverse and add this v by 2 to either of the masses, after which the situation looks something like this. And the center of mass is now going to be a fixed point, which is not going to move at this particular point. Now the advantage of doing this is that now you can consider this as a wall and you can consider this as a spring mass system. So this is an, a basic spring mass system just performing SHM uh, about its mean position. And uh, right now it's in the mean position because uh, the net force on the block is now zero, right? Because there is no compression in the spring. So right now it's in its mean position and it will stop when it reaches its extreme position. Okay. So now we are going to discuss a very basic result uh, of SHM and that is that velocity of the uh, block in the mean position is simply going to be A multiplied by omega where A is the amplitude of the SHM and omega is the angular frequency. So the velocity in the mean position is actually V by 2. So we're going to set that as V by 2. And let's say the amplitude of SHM is going to be A. And now we have to make uh, sure of one thing. The spring constant of half of the spring is going to be 2k as uh, we know that k times l is a constant as the length of the spring is half of the total length its spring constant would be 2k so now omega is simply going to be square root of k by m for a spring mass system so in this particular case it will be square root of 2k by m from here we'll get the amplitude of the shm as this particular value now in the question uh, in in the first question they have asked us the maximum compression in the spring so as you can see, right initially both of the uh, blocks are in its mean position. When the compression would be maximum, both of these blocks would have traveled by a distance of A, right? So the maximum compression in the spring, as you can see, it will be A plus A, that is going to be 2A. So the maximum compression in the spring will be this particular value. So, and in the next question, they have asked us the kinetic energy of the system. So the kinetic energy of the system of any system of particles, we can write it as the kinetic energy of the center of mass plus the kinetic energy of the system about the center of mass. Okay. Now the kinetic energy of the system about center of mass at the maximum compression is going to be zero, right? Because the in the center of mass frame, when the compression is maximum, or you can say uh, during SHM, when the blocks are in the extreme positions, the velocity of the blocks is zero. So the kinetic energy of the system in the CM frame is simply going to be zero. So all we have to do is write the kinetic energy of the center of mass. And the center of mass is basically a particle whose mass is 2m and it is moving with a velocity of v by 2 as we determined earlier. So the kinetic energy is simply half 2m into v by 2 square, which is mv square by 4. So the answers are option B and D. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys found this helpful, do like and subscribe to the channel and do share it with your friends as well. And thanks for watching, guys.